exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone. Recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. One is on the way. Here's a swing and a drive left field. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And Chris, it's trade deadline day. Always an interesting day on the MLB schedule. Usually a lot of excitement for fans and stress for the front offices. What about the teams and specifically the players? Boog, I think there are three perspectives. You're that guy that's saying, hey, I want to get traded somewhere, maybe to a contender, maybe to a place that I have an opportunity to play every day. On the flip side, you're that guy that's very content with where you are. You've heard some rumors, perhaps. You can't wait until the deadline has come and gone and you're still staying put. And then the third person is that teammate that's looking and saying, we got a shot. I hope we add the piece or two that we Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Julio Urias. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. And he deals. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And it's gone. He'll circle the bases, his 19th home run of the year. It's 2-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that, and that time that ball was hit hard. Number 15, digging in for the Rockies. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. That smash towards center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in, and that's the inning. So one left for Colorado, and they're down 2 nothing. Drew Romo digging in for the Rockies. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Into center, Jaquez under it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Up next for Colorado. The center fielder. A live shot. Benny Montgomery, the next to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. So up next, Emmanuel Paquez. He's already homered here in this one. And that one fouled off. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Swings and misses, one down. 
He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Run around at first with one gone. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered in this game. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Paquez, in his third season, 23 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Robles runs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to Tolia. They get him, but it was pretty close. Well, but we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Drew Romo. That's towards center. Paquez drifts towards it. One up, one down. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Next for Colorado, Elijah Green. The pitch. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Cut off, throw to third. Not in time, he's safe. Everything came together for him. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bullet the opposite way. Split the gap. Base is empty, one away. Next to hit for the Rockies, Zach Veen. One for two. Lined, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make... Next to hit, Ezekiel Tovar. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Two down. Up next to Colorado, the catcher. So two down, and here's the catcher, Drew Romo. The tying run at the plate. That's hard hit in the line. Paquez puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Padres four and the Rockies three. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Swings through that one, 0-1. You know, these Padres, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven oh, hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. The 0-2. And yeah, there's a the ball. Two strikes. And it's even up. Two-two to count. Robles stands at second with no outs. To the right side. He handles it himself. First out in the top of the eighth. Up next. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 7-3 is how this one ends.
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Baseball fans and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. John Chambi and Chris Singleton on the call. Saying a little precipitation in the forecast for this one. Nothing major. Hopefully shouldn't halt the game at any point. But it is wet out there on the field. One thing is a hitter, if you can bunt for a base hit, it's going to be a little slick for that infielder picking it up. You also have to remember over at first base, just about ready to roll here and on the mound now Mike Soroka and Chris he's a guy that gets better when things get tough his career ERA has been under four what I like most about him is his reliability takes the ball every fifth day ready to go whenever the manager calls Emmanuel Haquez stands in with two away as he takes a ball The 1 0. 2 0. Oh. Swing and a miss. One strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And another ball. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. Padres leave a pair. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here's a speed threat. Elijah Green. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. In the air, out to center. Haquez makes the grab, and there's one away. Batting second, the center fielder. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Emmanuel Haquez. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, one strike. Way out front for one strike ball, two. two strike. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Here comes a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. pitch just missed it's a good take and now the count filled up three and two good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat one down base is empty Right side, hard hit. Whips it to first. 
two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Emmanuel Paquez. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, just misses. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Machado stands at first with one out. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. That's a little bit low. The pitch. Base hit center field. Machado around second. Montgomery to third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Two on, one out. It's Xander Bogarts now. Here's a one-two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. Go ahead, run on base. Yu Chang, the next up for the Padres. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And it's one and one. I got a ball, one strike. And it is two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The two on. And a good eye there. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And the pitch. And that'll load the bases. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Jackson Frazier will hit next. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So they strand three and leave them loaded. Six, seven, eight, two. One out, runner at second. And here is Drew Romo. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit, it's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. He boots it! Headed for the plate! He will score. It's 2-1. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. He was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. One down. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. One for two. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Way inside, gets out of the way. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Taylor, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. 
For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. The one two. Good eye right there. Next pitch inside, and the count is filled up. Xander Bogarts in the on deck circle. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And that's ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. The pitch. Tapped in front of the play. In plenty of time to first. Bogarts retired. So up next, Yu Chang. The 1 1. This one high in the air to left center. The run comes in from second. It's 3 2. A two run double. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat pass in the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Now, out of El Amador. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Veen gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. This one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway on the hill here today. Zach Eflin, but Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Runner leads away at second. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Man, it's second. He's trying for third. 
Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to first. That's the third out. Padres leave one. The Rockies coming up. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Elijah Green. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In the air, center field. Jaquez settles underneath it, and it's caught for the out. Barney Mann digs in now, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Swing and a ball popped up. Taylor makes the catch. And there's one away. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Grounded out his first time. Fly ball, center field. And that will fall. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there. Now it's the right fielder, Zach Veen. Flied out his first time. And here it comes. This to center field. Jaquez under it. And the inning is over. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Three innings complete. It's as we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in for San Diego, Emmanuel Jaquez. Eflin back to work. Well, after scoring oh. runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. One ball, one and now it's even one and one. Well, a hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. We'll see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Eflin checks over to first, and he's back. 0-2 now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Man at first with one gone. And now, Xander Bogarts. Righty delivers. Oh. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, he had that base stolen as soon as he broke for second. Such a huge lead. The pitcher's got to find a way to help out his catcher, especially if he doesn't have a great throwing arm. Step off the rubber, shrink that lead somehow, create a little bit more time, or maybe you can prevent that stolen base. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. In the air on the infield. Urias moving under this one and makes the grab. And a couple of quick outs. Now the Yu Chang. Yu Chang, the next up for the Padres. Grounded out his first time. That's the third. A dive. He's got it. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. Emmanuel Paquez. Into left center for a base hit. Machado, round second on his way to third. Amador with a relay home. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Man at second with one away. And now the right fielder, Andy Pajas, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Rudder breaks for third. This ball's chopped in the ground. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. And here is Xander Bogarts. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Kicks and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Next for the Padres, Yu Chang. Two on, two outs. Ground ball, left side. They get the force. They limit the damage here. One run in the inning, but they leave two. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five. So two down. Number 15 digging in for the Rockies. That's out to center field. Jaquez settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Rockies are down quietly as the lead remains. So two away with nobody on. Emmanuel Jaquez now at the plate. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a strike. Swing and a miss. One, ball. One and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the... Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Three up, three down for San Diego. Score holds. It's 3-1. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John.